In today's After Effects tutorial, we will create a minimal and clean looking lower third animation inside of After Effects. Now for the people who are just getting started with motion design, the question will be what the heck are lower thirds? Well, basically lower third is a graphic overlay placed in the title safe lower area of the screen. In some cases, lower thirds are used to denote the name and the credentials of the speaker on the screen and in other contexts, it is used to provide user extra information in the context of the video that enhances the video watching experience for the audience. In every user case, lower third uses the power of text on videos to build better content retention and association for users. Now I think that's a bit too much to take in but trust me it's very simple and easy to create and yeah it definitely looks very nice and it helps a lot in enhancing your videos. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects, let's start by creating a new composition i'll call this lower third let's go with a 1920 by 1080 preset make this 60 fps and 10 seconds long hit ok let's create one more composition which is going to be our logo placeholder i'll call this logo where we can drag and drop in any logo that we want hit ctrl k on the keyboard and let's change the width and height to 100 pixels like so hit ok drag in our logo in this case i'm using my logo but you can of course use any logo that you want i'll keep it around there hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background and put it below our logo so now we have it let's go back into the lower third comp and drag in the logo comp just like that let's hit ctrl y to create a new background and call this bg also i'll add a quick fill on this double click to apply that up let's give it a nice neutral yellow color Maybe something like that hit ok put this in the background maybe i'll make it a bit more lighter so it's easy on the eyes okay so here we have the comp let's go ahead and animate this I'll go to one second, hit ctrl D to duplicate the comp and let's use this layer as a track mat. So I'll select the logo, hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe, go back and pull this down just like so and change the track mat to alpha mat. Now if you don't see the track mat option, you can hit F4 on the keyboard and that should switch between the modes now we have a very nice and simple animation let's select both these layers hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe on the position of the matte layer and go to two seconds select both the layers and drag them to the left holding shift so we have a very basic animation now let's select the rectangle layer and create a box where we can drag and you know type in our text so i'll rename this to box underscore o1 go into rectangle one properties rectangle path one unlink this let's change the size to 700 by 100 that is looking good maybe i'll make this black and let's try to align it properly with the logo com that we have so using the arrow keys you can just align it there we go looking good let's select it and move the anchor point to the left so i can select the pan behind tool and also turn on the snapping if you don't have that move anchor point script you can just select it and just drag it and it's going to snap in just like that hit s to bring down the scale properties so i'll go right here then I'm going to parent this to the logo comp layer. Again, if you don't see the parent option, you can just right click, go to columns and add the parent and link option. So now it moves along with the logo. So I'll select this, create a keyframe on the scale property, unlink this, go back and set this to zero. 
so now we have a pretty basic animation as you can see nice and simple let's type in our text so i'm going to select the text tool and i'm going to type in steve rogers let's put it just like so make this a bit bigger okay let's bring down the spacing to zero also i'm gonna I'm also i'm gonna use the next uh, black font you can of course use any font that you like but this is one of my favorite fonts i'm going to use this okay so that is looking good let's give it a quick animation so i'll go into animate and add a position let's bring this down then go into the range selector let's bring the offset up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to zero so now we have a pretty basic animation as you can see also let's go into add property and add our tracking just bring, bring them closer like so and we have a nice animation as you can see let's go into effects and presets and add a set mat to this double click to apply that up and in the take mat from layer i'm going to select the box one that we have so now it's going to use that as a mat so looking pretty cool let's select the layer hit u so we can see the keyframes and select the keyframes hit f9 to ease ease them go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and what i'm going to do is try to create kind of a peak in the center to get a really nice and snappy motion something like that and right over here i'll drag the handles so now let's see our animation and as you can see this is looking very very nice yep Let's close them all. Let's select the rectangle tool, make this one white and create uh, the second rectangle. Again, go into the rectangle one, rectangle path one, unlink this. Let's make this around, I think thousand should be good. And this is set to hundred. Yep. Let's try to align this. okay that is looking perfect maybe i'll just increase the size a bit i'll make this 1200 that is a bit too much let's make this 1100 so i'll move this one right here in case if you want to be precise you can use the arrow keys so yep that is looking perfect now let's go ahead and add our text but before that let's actually animate this so i'll call this box underscore o2 select it and move the anchor point again to the left just like so also make sure the snapping is turned on and link this or pattern this to the logo comp so it moves along with the logo I'll go to two seconds, select this, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, unlink this, go back to one second and set this to zero. Select this, hit F9, go into the graph editor and the same exact thing. As you can see, this is looking very, very nice. Let's go ahead and select the text, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Put this on the top, make it or give it a black color. I'll bring this right over here. And in the take mat from layer, I'll set this to box two. So it's gonna use box two as a mat. 
Now let's type in our text. I'm gonna type in Mr. Steve Rogers. Let's make this small. We'll go with 22. Okay, that is looking good. Change the paragraph to right alignment or left alignment. Let's type in our text. Also, I'll hit Control D again. Change the paragraph alignment to right. Holding Shift, I can drag this. Let's type in Monday Live Jan 20. That is looking good. So now we have a nice animation as you can see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to displace this a bit. So I'll move them 30 frames forward in time. So it starts later on as you can see and then what I can do is I can go into the text properties animator one and go into range selector advanced and change the based on from character to words so you can see the difference but it's not working the way I want because we don't need any tracking in this so I'm gonna select the tracking and delete it so now we have a really nice animation same I'm gonna do with the second text that is the Monday life I'm gonna hit U two times so we can reveal the properties directly go into range selector advanced and change this to words delete the tracking amount and there we go super easy to create so now we have our lower third animation in animation now let's go ahead and use an expression to create the out animation of this lower third so let's create a new comp call this main go with 1920 by 1080 60 fps hit ok drag in the lower third composition and i'll place it maybe somewhere here we don't need the background Here we have it hit s maybe it's a bit smaller like 70 or maybe let's go with a 85 or something like that yep i'll just place it like so okay so now we have our an animation so right over here at three seconds i'm gonna hold shift and hit one to add a marker because i'm not using a numpad call this in hit okay I'll go to 4 seconds, hit hold shift and hit 2 on the keyboard, right click go to settings, call this out, hit ok. Then select the layer, right click go to time and enable time remapping. Let's go right over here, create a keyframe, go right here, create a keyframe and then somewhere around let's go to 7 seconds and copy this keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v and there you go there you have your yeah, out animation but now we want to link the animation to our markers and for that i'm going to use this expression that i have and you can download this from the link in the description below so hit ctrl c to copy that up hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the time remapping and hit ctrl v to paste that up now we have the out animation but now in case I want the title or the lower third to stay there for a while, maybe instead of one second, I want to I want it to stay there for maybe two seconds. I can move the marker to five seconds and then it's gonna stay there for five seconds and then it's gonna animate out. So very easy and simple to create an out animation and link it to the markers. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this nice and sweet, simple tutorial on how to create a minimalistic lower third inside of After Effects. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative.